Hello world. Attention Canada. We are anonymous. We become aware of a human trafficking ring operating throughout Canada when one of your citizens reached out to us for help. We found cause to look deeper into the matter and found it is true. They are secretly kidnapping children and throwing them into a hellish system. They use fear and force to demand compliance from the parents to prevent any trouble. When a parent does try they are quickly silenced. This is more than human trafficking this is abuse of power. Actions taken under the color of law. Many of these people are doing their best and actually think they are helping. The criminal organization to which we speak is most commonly referred to as CPS. You can see the problem here. Part of your society thinks this part of the system works. We have studied this matter in depth with open minds and rational thinking. We stand strongly that no child should be abused however no government may take a child without due process of law either and then only after guilt has been proven in a court of law. And yet somehow countless children are being taken from loving homes and families without cause. Investigations with holes big enough to drive a truck through are commonplace. And yet these families are being traumatized. Kids are going to homes that house them for the money and then mistreat the child and starve the child of love. These children are never given the means to survive. Traumatized for life they end up your society's untouchables. Due to the trauma caused them by their time in foster care many children end up homeless on drugs, stealing their way through life. From there they look forward to a life in jail. We have determined that this is doing more harm than good and there is a great deal of angry people in your country crying out for justice. We found the following posted online. We feel it shows the state of the situation. Children are being sacrificed on the altar of child protection law. Most often families attacked or scavenged are First Nations or black single parents, disabled or abused parents like domestic violence, disabled kids, medical kidnapping, parents in a custody battles where CPS chooses a side on belief of a worker regardless if it is a verified belief, concern or idea that they have. Ontario has no oversight of child protection services either through Children's Aid Society or Department of Child and Family Services. The laws in Canada are archaic as demonstrated through previous operations exposing child protection services. Just this week a mother, designated as mentally ill by British Columbia Ministry of Child and Family Development whom funds CPS in that province, admitted they were wrongful in placing four kids in foster care for 2.5 years when they refused to believe the mom in that the four children were being raped and sexually assaulted by their father by the corruption of power in Canada. These assaults on the children continued for 2.5 years while the father had the kids unsupervised and while the children were torn from their mother. So many different nightmares we hear, but Ontario has no oversight, the only province missing oversight. With Justin Trudeau in power we are concerned he will continue to cover up what Kathleen Wynne appointed MCYS haters if child and youth services fail to provide and the money-making schemes going on in Ontario like the $300,000 misappropriation of funds infuriating. Therefore we the people of Anonymous hereby decree the creation of Operation Report CPS. If you or someone you know is a victim of CPS and you would like the world to know please contact us. This is best done by starting a new Twitter account and a fake name and not using a photo of you. From there search hashtag CPS and start talking to the people that are talking about this. You can leave comments here you if like. You can send an email to call.866.665.0578 at gmail.com. You may call 866.665.0578 press 7. However you choose to contact us please provide as much information as you can include the names of any government officials and the job titles. If you have a business card please email a photo of it. The information you provide will be used in a variety of lawful ways to encourage the better handling of this matter. We thank you for having the love in your hair to like, share, follow, tweet, and or reload this video. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. We are love. We are family. We are the people. It is too late to expect us. We are here.